Okay, I imagine a lot of you have been waiting for this one. We finally get a chance to take a video and save it. As such. Welcome to Mobile Application Tutorials, my name's Nigel. Okay, so we're going to create a capture session for capturing video and saving it to the device. Okay, so we'll make a start. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to use my setup preview method as reference for my setup record method. It sort of uses the same sort of process. So if I do what's actually called start preview. So we've got start preview, so just above that I'm going to create a new method. called start record okay and because we're just above the start preview I'm going to grab the um, surface texture that represents our display preview um, the reason for that is when you're recording you you want to see what you're recording which is our preview so we'll grab that code there put it into our method Okay, and just before that, we need to actually set up our uh, media recorder from the previous tutorial. So we've created a method for that. So what is it? Set up media recorder. And I do need to put a try catch harness around that. this code in there as well okay just need to check that okay that that's fine so okay we've now got the surface for our surface preview now we're going to create a surface for our um, video to record the video so we'll create a new surface for that and I'll call it record surface and from our media recorder that can provide us with the service that's built into that library so that's nice okay so the next step is now to create our capture builder request so we've got our m capture builder request builder here and we're going to create a capture request and it's going to be template record there Okay, so previously down here, for the preview, we just created a template preview. Now we're doing it with template record. Okay, now that we've got our capture request builder set up, we can add our two surfaces. At, by calling add target, add target. We'll do preview service first. We'll do the same for uh, record service okay so we've now set up our capture request builder the next thing to do is to create our ca camera capture session call M camera device again for that and we're going to pass in our our two surfaces as the first argument for this pass in preview surface then record surface okay now we need to create the capture session callback and just let me add the third argument to this which is just going to be null okay I'm not going to put anything from configured value you normally would but this is pre this is a sample code to aid the speed of the tutorial we're going to just um, now call the uh, capture session so I've got the session there and 
So this double check here, it's going to be a set repeating request because it's video continually capturing frames. Okay, the first argument to this is going to be the um, capture builder itself. Call that to get the actual capture builder. And the two other members here are just going to be null because all the work is going to happen in the actual media recorder itself. Okay, and I need to put another try catch harness around that. Okay, and that should just be the code that we needed to set up our uh, camera recording uh, uh, capture session. Okay, so now we need to call that. So just let me check on the code from the place to court. I believe it's going to be where we set up our write, check write and storage permissions there. So that's when we press the button, we actually check we've got write storage permissions. So I've gone into the check write storage permission method. Okay, and just underneath when we create the video file name, we're going to call our start start recording, start record. And once we've set up our capture session, we can then go back to the media recorder and call start. Okay, we'll have to do that in another place just in here, in case we're running on older versions of Android, older than Marshmallow. Okay, so that's now set up there. Once we start recording, we've got to stop it. So let's go and do that. So the listener to stop it is in the on create method, I believe. And here it is here. So if we're currently recording and we press the button again, we're going to go into this um, if statement here and we need to now stop it. So it's a matter of calling media recorder stop and then media recorder dot reset because if we want to do another recording we're going to do that in a separate file where we'll reinitialize the settings again. Okay. And one final thing here is once we stop it, we stop recording but we want the preview to continue on, so we need to call start preview again, just like this. Okay, so the code's now in place to get it working. We do have one caveat to address, and it's quite an important one. When you first install um, Android Marshmallow or later, you give it runtime permissions. When you give right, when you give it the right storage permission. And you say yes, allow um, to save my videos to storage. What's going to happen is the application is going to, in effect, restart. It's going to call the on pause and on resume, and so that's going to um, that's going to clean up and cancel all our active objects, including including the media recorder and things like that. So. Just on this one situation, when you first install the application on Marshmallow or later, we're going to have to have put a little bit of a, a workaround here. And so we're going to do that in the onConnected method. Okay, so let's check for the onConnected method for the devices connected. Here it is here. So it's the camera device state callback here. And so the device is configured there, but we've already cleaned up our media res media um, recorder and everything like that, just for this one situation. So let's do a check to see if we're is recording. And if we are recording on this one condition, actually, let me just tidy up this code here, put an else around here for start preview. So where we are is recording for this one condition where we're first starting the application on Marshmallow later, first installation. 
we'll have to create our file name again then call start record and then call start record and then it'll be the M media recorder start so in theory this should only happen once in the lifetime of application if any rarely okay okay let's put a try catch around that for the file name and that that that's it because I've already granted permissions on the previous tutorial I believe it was um, we won't see this situation but if I was installing this application for the very first time this code here would be called just the once okay so the codes in place let's try running that and see what happens application started let me record that so you can sort of see the context of what's happening okay so let me record my keyboard first and just a recording on the display okay so I've now recorded those I'm just going to close the application now I'm going to open up, um, it's called ES File Explorer. So as you can see here, we've got the camera two video image folder here. And we've got the two images there. So let's load the first one. And you can see the recording of the keyboard. Stop. And let's load the second one. And you can see the recording of my computer display. Okay, so that concludes this tutorial where we actually set up the capture session to record and save the videos to our device. So if you've followed a number of my camera to API tutorials, you can sort of pick up a similar pattern and the sort of coding and implementation suddenly gets a lot more straightforward because you're doing the same thing time after time. So we, we just set up a capture builder request just for the um, template itself. Anyway, that's the end of this tutorial. If you want to get notified of the following tutorial to this episode or any other uh, video tutorials that I'm working on, click on that subscribe button down below. And surrounding me are my social media accounts, which will keep everyone up to date with the news and times of mobile application tutorials. Um, if you're running a PC, you can click on those accounts now. And directly above me is a link to my website. So when I do the postings here, not only do I include the video, I include details of the code changes, as well as where you can get the code from GitHub. Anyway, that's it for this one. Bye for now.